welcome back. If you are scrolling through Amazon, searching for the best Prime Day deals, we see you. Throw a few books in your cart, too. A professor is using the theme of comic book superheroes to create a line of children's books that highlight the super side of something that's often looked at negatively. Our KGW comic comics expert, Destiny Johnson, has all the details. Dr. Tracy Alloway is a professor of psychology who teaches all the way in Florida. But her newest books, aimed at highlighting what is special and super about children with learning disabilities, will be touching children nationwide. So I'm really excited to be able to author this four book series, and they're for children, and it's meant to kind of capture the superpower, the super memory power of kids with learning disabilities, specifically dyslexia, ADHD, autism, and anxiety. And oftentimes we tend to focus on the difficulty, but they have these incredible superpowers, and I wanted to be able to bring that out to the front. Dr. Alloway has published numerous papers on education and learning disabilities in the last 15 years, but she noticed that there was a gap when it came to raising the voices of the children themselves. So she set out to create characters children could identify with and other children could easily understand to raise awareness from a child's perspective. So the first book is about Sammy, a little boy with dyslexia, and he's tasked with having to lead his scout team to find the flag. So because of his dyslexia, it makes it really difficult for him to read the map. He gets confused with left and right. But then the map gets blown away, and his super memory power is his photographic memory, his visual memory. And so even without the map, he remembers all these landmarks and safely puts everyone back to camp. It really helps that I also work with the clinic, and I've had a lot of experience actually working directly with this population. And so I really wanted to infuse it with some of the kind of language that they would use. And so not only have I worked with the children and the parents with these learning disorders, I've also work with national organizations like CHAB that works with ADHD and so on. Um, but for example, with Charlie, the little boy with autism, some of his uh, conversation involves him talking in the third person about his emotions. So he'll say, Terrence the train feels sad because he has a hard time expressing his own emotions. And I wanted to include that in the book so that a parent of that child could see their own child in that conversation. But another child who maybe doesn't have that difficulty can also understand why some of their peers may talk like that too. Even with the publisher, it was hard for them to understand some of the difficulties these these young children go through. So one of the girls, Ruby, has anxiety and they couldn't understand how it would be hard for her to give her speech in front of her class. So in the story, Ruby has to give a kind of show and tell and she freezes and she's not able to do it. But later on in the playground, she gives it to the tree and is able to kind of remember everything. And so for them, it was actually quite a long conversation I had to have with them to explain some of these difficulties. So I feel it's so important that people understand that it's not just that some of these kids don't want to do it, it's that their brain is wired in a way that makes it difficult for them to do that. That is really my goal, is that people would be able to have a greater awareness, but also at the back of the book, I give research-based memory tips. So if you want a photographic memory like Sammy, the little boy with dyslexia, here are five things research shows that we can do. So I really want it to be twofold. One, the awareness piece, but I also want children to see that they do have a superpower, and here's how they can, they can improve and grow that superpower. Yeah, they'll be in bookstores all around the country, and they'll also be on Amazon, and some of them are pre-order already. The Map Challenge, featuring Sammy, who has dyslexia, and The Classroom Mystery with Izzy, who has ADHD, are out now. You can purchase them on Amazon or quarternose.com. That is so wonderful. And you can see so much more wonderful content from Destiny. Just go to subscribe to her YouTube channel. It's called KGW Comic Pick of the Week. And we'll be right back.